One African Music Festival backstage. It's Brian to show the one and only Banky W. First of all, sir, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Good to see you looking all swagged up. For years. <laughs> for years. Yes. How are you feeling at the moment, Banky? Fantastic, man. We've done this in New York. We've done it in Houston. We're here in London, which outside of Africa, I consider London to be the home of Afro beats. You guys have been ahead of the curve. You guys have been pushing the music and the culture. Special shout out to you. Special shout out to DJ Edu. Everybody that's out here doing it. So we appreciate you. And now we're here to celebrate with you the show's kicked off it started it's crazy i'm hosting i'm about to go perform that's why i got my nice jacket he's got his swagger on <laughs> you know I mean? he's got his swagger on it's going down it's right going down it's going thank down thank you w in the building yes, sir. go do your thing man thank you sir player that's what we like uh, one african music festival right here backstage is mad just speaking to everybody just spoke to banky w you know what i mean uh, about to get hold of my man scales where's he at? yes of all day. Oh, yeah, shake, buddy. And move, but well, African Music Festival backstage here. It's the Brian T Show special. Um, it wouldn't be a show without a show if we didn't have the man like scales on it for everybody to shake, buddy. <laughs> Yo, God bless you, man. That's a nice jacket you got going on there. I'm liking the swag. <laughs> How do you feel about the show? Um, yo, yo, One Africa is a movement, man. It's something that's really big, you know. I'm really, I really, I'm really grateful to God that you know we give the man like Paul, you know, that idea, you know, to do something really big for Africa. So this is like, this is like a movement that's denting the fact that you know Africa is is a problem, you know. Like, you know, we're 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 like starting up something different. We're starting up a movement that everybody has to reckon with, you know. So that's what's up. Definitely, I'm working on myself my album. It's called okay. D Never Say Never guy okay and um yo we're like 100 percent in it now so when's it out probably in two three weeks now two uh, wow two three weeks so that's like any time now uh, tell me about some of the special guests on there um there is a uh, dj snake there is uh okay. pj martin from um maroon five there is Roy Timmy. okay there is uh who else can wrote to me from the he's an actor massive actor as well right from uh, power yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he's nigerian right yeah, he's Nigerian. There is Born Aboard, there's Wandy Cole, okay. there is, uh, what am I, there's a lot of people I can't See, remember. the thing about you is that like, you got an advantage because like, you're a producer as well, aren't you? Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, you double, you double, you double in it. Yeah, you know, you mess around with it, so you're, yeah. like, you're in front of it, you're behind of it, which is good. Yeah. How are you feeling about the whole scene in the UK right now? Yo, I feel like, yo, um, for Afrobits in the UK now is such a big thing, man. We can tell about what's going on out there and right now. You see, like, everywhere it's packed up, yo. So, uh, it's a big thing, and you can tell that Afrobeats has even touched the sound of the UK. Like, like um, there's this song I heard, like, something came with us. You know, that's Afrobeats, man. So, you know, there's there's the presence everywhere right now, and every everybody can testify right now. So. It's always a pleasure, Baba. You know what I mean? The tunes are always smacking, you know what I mean? So it's good. Make sure you come and check out the listening party. You know you know what I mean? It's going down. Make sure you go get your invite. We're good. All right? Cool, man. Let me give you a piece of Africa. Hey! What up, everybody? This is Mohambi. Of course, chilling with my brother, my one and only homie, Abrenti, on Abrenti Show. One love. All the bad guys. We're here. We are here. Yeah. <laughs> The Brian T Show, we're backstage, the One Africa Music Festival special. Here, my guy, Falls the Bad Guy. But he's a good guy, though. Why did you call yourself Falls the Bad Guy? Why are you just Falls? You see, the thing is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need to know what I've done. When somebody is having such a character that is peculiar in nature, mm -hmm. such a strategy, such a appearance, such a nature, <laughs> that stand out so much. It is compulsory that the general public. Hey, truth! Keep quiet, I'm doing interview. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, please of focus while doing interview here. <laughs> First, the bad guy is explaining himself. Yeah. We keep all this in, yeah? This is all part of it. Uh -huh, you so, were saying. So, when it, you need to please of focus. You need to keep your interest because I'm somebody so peculiar in nature. You need to know. There you have it. So that's why it falls the bad guy. Uh, listen, congratulations on everything so far. Uh, you won the BET award, wasn't it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All day, man. I saw you nominated and I was like, yo, my guy's nominated. And then I saw you win it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I was there. I was like, yo, it was big. I was like, wow. It was big. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what's happening with you? I mean, is there a new EP coming? New, new single? What's the deal? No, for sure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be putting out my third official album. You know, this year, first studio album uh, as a solo artist. You know, it's been it's been crazy. It's been, you know. What's the name of the album? 
<laughs> well, right now, I can't reveal it. Ah! <laughs> I tried to catch him out, you know, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I'm you see? That means he's had media training. <laughs> Only say what you need to say, you know what I mean? All right, tell me about some of the features on the, yeah. on, on the album, at least. At least give me one, 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 one. Hey, my brother, come now. Falls the bad guy, don't be bad to me. <laughs> All right, when are you looking to put it out? Okay, I'm looking to put it out, say, about July, August. Okay, so, so it's a summer flex, yeah? So around that time. Okay. Around that time. Okay. There's no set date yet. Yeah. Okay. So just around that time. All right, cool. Uh, so you heard it right here first. We didn't get the name of the album, but we know that it's coming out in summertime. Summertime, pretty soon. Summertime. Falls the bad guy. Kojo, <laughs> Kojo, <Co Co Co laughs> what's up? Kojo. <laughs> 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 Sorry, 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 sorry. Take no, take no, take no. You know what time it is. Mask him out. Where are you going now? Come and talk to me small. You're going to see some people real sick. We're here with Basket Mouth right here, one African music festival. You just flying for this one show. No, I'm actually flying through, but it was coincidental that it was the same day. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Bofi, I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a better comedian from Trinidad in my life, bro. It is so, so good to see the greatest white comedian I've ever seen. God bless you. At the tender age of 67, wow. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> oh, Bobby said, uh, one and only for asking mouth. When can we expect you back in the UK? I mean, you did something amazing. You broke history. You done a show here yourself. Wembley Arena sold it out. How did you feel about that? How was, how did, how was it was that? It was humbling. I, trust me, I've never felt that way before in my life entire life you know coming to a gig sending out this venue Wembley them you know even doing the the indigo was even like humbling at yeah, the point yeah, yeah. but now you know it's just it's the struggle it's the hustle but God has been paying me here's back. the thing yeah you know you've now done indigo you've done Wembley arena you've done Hammersmith Apollo where, where where's next no I, I'm gonna stick with this one because Next is too much. They <laughs> maintain the Wembley for about two or three years. Okay. Until so now. we can expect Barcelona live back yeah, at it's Wembley. it's booked already. It's booked Tell already. Tell me the date. Is it eleventh of February? If I'm not 11th wrong. Eleventh February, twenty eighteen. Yeah. Uh, check it out. Make sure you get confirmation. Barcelona live at Wembley Arena. Make sure you're in the building. It's always amazing to stand next to such a funny guy. DJ Jimmy Jack. <laughs> I'm proud to that to see you again, man. I'm just kidding. We'll be doing this all night. My yeah. brother. It's one African music festival backstage. We are here. It's the Brighton Show. Now, most of the time, I interview his brothers. But on this occasion, I thought I'd put him on the spotlight because he's the guy behind what makes it happen. Let's welcome the bigger brother. You know when you introduce your elders, you don't say their name or you say the elder bigger brother of the twins that go by the name of P-Square. You dead. How are you, sir? Abrante, Abrante, Abrante. What's up? You know what? I'm good, man. I've never actually even spoken to you before on the TV show. I know you're always behind the scenes. You know, you're here in London. I need to be the guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what I know why you're behind. Why are you putting me on the spotlight, man? I have to put you on the spotlight. How's it going? You know, how's things with you? How, you know, what's going on? Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing good. We're here for One African Music Fest, London version. And uh, we're killing it. We'll soon be on stage uh, in the next uh, 30, 40 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, so we're getting set. It's sold out. It's sold crazy. Out. Crazy. I'm not even on stage yet, but I'm sweating. I'm, I'm sweating. sweating. It's crazy. We have to wipe the brow. You know what I mean? We're sweating. <laughs> like a, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's all up. So look, you're the man behind the scenes. My question to you is, how do you manage to keep two most talented guys, yeah, like doing their thing? Because you know, we guys, let's keep it real. We got egos. You know what I mean? We got egos, and you got two awesome, talented. Hey, flavor. Hey, <laughs> we got two. You got two awesome guys that you look after. I mean, they're your brothers, but you do look after. So you got the business and the family side of things. How do you manage it? Man, it's been crazy, it's been hard work, it's been like uh, mad, but hey, it's a job, somebody's gonna do it. <laughs> can, I, can I do it? <laughs> if you wanna, oh, 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 you want it? You want it? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, and obviously, you know, there's always going to be trials and tribulations for family, you know. And the thing about it is, I think it's most important when the trials do happen, how do you manage to keep the family so tight and back together when things start looking like, you know, there's problems? Well, uh, whenever there's a problem, first of all, I think the best solution is to keep the business side of it on the side mm. and just remember that you guys are brothers. You guys family have a blood first. going, family first. Mm. Then it's easy to sort out when you keep business aside. Mm. and so the issue then the business cannot come back there you have it I mean you know I think that when they give out awards they need to give you one no I don't want awards no you have to get an award I want bagam ah! bagam 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 for the account yo <laughs> I don't want no fucking yeah, no, but it helps. It helps. You know what I mean? Listen, I want to congratulate you Thank on you. everything that you've done so far. Thank you. You know, you was one of the first to, you know, take that step. You know, you put the boys on with Rick Ross. You put the boys on with so many American acts before anybody was doing it. Let's keep Thank it real. You. Thank you. You know? At the end of the day, we pay homage to you and your no, brothers Pink Square. Bring money. Pay home. <laughs> we can't afford it. You can't afford it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I speak to the twins? Of course, of course. It's double trouble. It's double trouble. What did I put myself in for? All right. So I, I don't know if it's going to happen because now I don't know what to do. When you've got two good looking guys next to you, there's lucky like there's no girls in there to come in for them to take. But the boys are here. P Square is up in the building. Peter and Paul. How you guys doing? You good? Yo, we're good. We're good. What's up, London? We're here. Yeah. You're here for one of the music fest? Yeah, we're here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so look, what's been happening guys? I know uh, you've been dropping some new singles here and there, you know. You've been is that a tease for a new album or what's the story? Something like that because uh, we've never done it before. Mm. We're just trying to we just don't want to keep these fans waiting. It's been too much of how can you guys really like two singles a year, three singles, don't say no. You guys want more music, we'll give you more music. I think they do want more music. My question is to you though, what keeps you going? I mean, at the end of the day, like, you got everything. You got the money, you got the success, you got the hits. You, I don't know, like, what keeps you going? Like, where's the motivation again? I, I think there are more haters. We need to give them more food. <laughs> Feed the haters. Feed them. <laughs> They, 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 they want, I mean, the fans, uh, what, the truth is, um, these fans want, they, they want more. Yeah. They, they, they always want so more. Yeah. And so we just, we just have to, we just have to keep giving them, yeah. you know, if, whether they like it or not, this mm. way is here to stay. Uh, uh, and one thing we promise them is uh, we'll keep giving them good music. And good keep music. giving them good music. You know, speaking to your brother earlier on, you know, it's, it's, it's no private, we're not going to touch on it too much. But how do you manage to keep the family together? Because me, I I have, a, I have a brother. You know my brother. Well, for right? me, <laughs> me and him there. Even girls there with a the fight over. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean um, family rift is normal. Yeah. It's meant to happen. It's how you how, how end, end, ended up is what really matters. Of course. Know? People are meant to fight. People are meant to quarrel. People are meant to make up. Mm. Oh, yeah. So I don't see. We are humans. Of course. Just have the back of him. We are humans. It just but the, the truth is that when you make mistakes, admit it. Of course. And you keep it moving. And I think that's, you know, it's a testimony to when you brought out new music. I could feel the passion in the music that you exactly. brought out. You know what I mean? And now for us, now it's not like just doing any house kind of song now. The more you grow, the more your maturity grows. You, sometimes you have to talk about what's going on in society, just like a nobody ugly. We see things are really happening when it comes to social media, but nobody wants to say it. So, sorry, but as legendary as us, we have to tell the people the truth. Tell them the truth. What was the song? What was the, the theme behind No Ugly? <laughs> nobody ugly. Don't lie. There's some ugly people there. Why are you lying for? <laughs> the social media madness. Oh, of course. It's getting too much, guys. Guys, you know, I mean, let's slow it, slow it down, man. People, mm. don't, people forget. I mean, when was the last time people spent time, quality time with their family? They miss out some great moments. They hold their phones. They get accidents. Every day we see accidents. So people are just, any single thing they do, they just want to pose and take a picture and put it out there. So it's getting too much. We need to calm it down. That is some wise words from the twins Peter and Paul so you guys are going to get ready to perform you know what I mean you're going to shut it down it's going to be crazy um, tell me about the new album is there a new album coming not this year man like I said we've choked the market because three hours for Pisco is not enough for my album to now Trust me, even when we're going to perform here and we're told we're performing for 30 minutes, I know the fans are going to feel bad. 
because we have at least like 50 something great songs. Wow. So 50 something. Yeah, it's not enough. Like it's, not, no, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's a problem, but sorry, fans. There is no so, time. So, will you come back and feed the fans? Can we expect like a headline show from P Square? Because that's been something that we've been after for so long. Next year, we'll make it P Square 20 years on stage. Really? Are we gonna do so? Can you say something to the camera that we're gonna do something? Can we, you know, we're looking for. Where's that Judy? Where's Judy? I'm, 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 guys, yeah, we're, I mean. I, I'm looking for like next year. Yeah. Where Peace Square do a proper world tour. Wow. We'll start from Nigeria, Europe, America, East Africa. You know, Southern Africa, that's what we're looking for. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. You heard it first right here on the Brian T Show. Uh, listen, guys, it's always a pleasure to catch up with you. You know Thank me, you. I'm your adopted brother. You know. <laughs> I'm your adopted brother. I know I'm not as good looking, but you have to accept you, <laughs> you have to accept me. My brother, I love you. Thank you very much. Our jello fry is better. No, no, no. Our jello fry is better. No, no, no. better. Ghana jello for all day. Yeah, what up, everybody? I'm Paul. And I'm Peter. Together, we are Peace. We are keep watching the uh, Branty Show. It's the Branty Show. We are backstage One Africa Music Festival. It's crazy. The gentleman, the guy himself. You know what? When I look at his clothing, I need to check myself, you know. <laughs> I tell him this all the time. Just tell him, how you doing, my brother? Yeah, yeah I do. You know, I'm, do I'm doing great, you man. Know what? It's uh, epic. It's epic. Yeah. It is. And you know what? I'm glad you're here. Yeah. You know, because I think it affirms what we're really trying to do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because we got you who represents us from outside yeah, yeah. of the UK and yeah. in America. And I know yeah. America's probably one of the hardest places to bring. Yeah, man. And you making it happen. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? You know, the, the bridge only works when you have buttresses on both sides of it, you know? So I, I thank God that people showing up here, Davido, you know, T.Y. There's a gang of people here that work hard, you know, to make that bridge. For me, it's just important from the U.S. side or, to stand firm, man. Because uh, I was there at the Brooklyn one. Yep, yep. Barclays we Center. One. Yep, when when nobody thought Paul Lowe could do it, but he you did know, it. And he, he did done, it. done it again. He, he done, 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 done it again. Done, done it again. <laughs> so, uh, but yo, good to see you at Brown oh, man. man. So a I, I was hoping to see you earlier this week, man. It's, it's been a hectic one. I was like, where is he? Where it's is been, he? It's yo? been a hectic one. It's yeah. been mad. But know? this is what you've been doing, man. <sighs> We're working. Yeah. So what's happening? What's the future? What's the plans? What's going on? Um, so I still got to do a U.S. tour. You know, I'm often outside of the U.S. for for obvious reasons. But I'll be out there, I'll be here, I'm in Africa, in South Africa, Nigeria, and soon to be Kenya, and okay. Uganda, and everywhere, man. But uh, I got to do U.S. proper, so okay. summer tour U.S., uh, yeah, from July all the way through August. Um, then uh, then we'll come back and go do an October tour in Africa. Oh, nice. Yeah, man. In terms of, like, you being in America, how are they feeling the whole African, the whole African vibe? I know you're championing it out there mm. for us, you know, you're, like, you're carrying a lot on your shoulders. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. How are they? You know, how are they like turn into it? Are they? Are they saying okay? Do they I like, mean, you know? to be honest, man, Trump has people so distracted with chaos that people can't even hear it all the way. Wow, wow, wow. I think that the people that hear are mostly like, you know, Africans, Caribbeans, mm -hmm. and some are like also just black people, honestly, African Americans, but I don't think it's made that full crossover like it has in the UK where like you have like loads of white people listen to it too. It's not It's not there now. How do you think we're going to be able to do that? Because here, I mean, obviously here in the UK, we're doing Wembley Arena tonight. Yeah, Nobody crazy. thought it could ever happen. Crazy. Crazy. You know, when, when, when I met a reporter, he's like, yo, Branty, you know, yeah. we want to do this, what do you think? I said, yo, let's do it. Yeah. You know, because I really believe in this, and I really believe that we can bridge the gap and, like, yeah. change people's mentality yeah. of Africa. So, like, we've got 15,000 people up in here. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think, I think what all of us from, like, back around, like, the, in front of the cameras, behind the cameras, all of the people involved in this, the artists, the management, what we're operating on is uh, not a FUBU model where it's for us, by us, it's by us for all so it's not just how even though it's made and centered around people from the African diaspora it's not just for us anyone can enjoy it so I think that's why it's reverberating it's why you can do Wembley and you could do Barclays Center you could do Madison Square next time yeah there's only one more place to go so I think that that's the beautiful thing it, it, it's, it's from us investing in ourselves that's the turning point that's why it's epic that's why it's historical what we're doing everybody's investing in one Africa and making it happen I like the way you put in there one Africa as well. Yeah. I always feel inspired when I talk to you, man. What about new music? It's gonna be a new music. Uh, I was just working on some some uh, some new tunes, yo, on a on a boat. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the yeah there's a studio so... on a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Skepta was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy Leeper was there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, So, you know what you're crazy. doing, yeah? Did you fit in there? You had to crouch down. <laughs> it was definitely one of those. <laughs> one of those, I know. Cool. Make you do the music, <laughs> Sh- it seems like everyone's making hits out of that boat. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Are you, you teaming up with? Are you teaming up with some UK peeps or some, you know? Yeah, yeah, man. That's actually part of the reason I'm here. You know, I've been here a week, and I'm just trying to. But I don't want to say everybody because then it's no surprise, you know. But it, 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 I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll sure, honestly, I'll probably shoot you some video, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's movie. it's here, UK, and then of course different places on the on the continent. Okay. Yeah. My man, you then, you know, I'm not gonna hold you up too long. I know you gotta perform tonight. You know what I mean? I forgot. Brother. I forgot. Yeah, I almost forgot. We could talk for days. I'm yeah. always inspired, my man Jadena. Yeah. Backstage, Afrobeats at One Africa Music Festival, the one and only Jadena. You know what I mean? Jadena, please um, do a shout out for me and tell the people they can keep up to date with you as well. well what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's Jadena, aka the classic man. I'm chilling here on the Abranti show with another, uh, none other than the Abranti himself. Clean, you know, outspoken. And one carrying on the torch out here in the UK, one of the forefathers, I say, for the movement out here. So it's great to see here. We're backstage, One Africa show. One Africa, make Africa great again. <laughs> My man. Yeah. Yo. One Africa Music Festival, we are backstage here. All the ice are here, you know what I mean? Everyone just passing through. Uh, shout out to Silverstone. Oh. Listen, congratulations on your sold out show. Thank you very um, much. At the O2 it isn't in. Thank you. Thank uh, it you. was an absolute shutdown. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. We don't expect nothing less. Africa. Absolutely. And it's yeah. good. You That's know what I mean? It. Right now, the UK is nice. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, um, it's, it's nice that the UK can come out and support our own exactly. as well, which is really important. Yeah. Um, so that was. The tour for was that the, the tour or was it the song for the um, the, the show for the EP so right? That was just a show for the EP. Oh, what's the name of the EP? Yeah, it's called Levels. It's out right now. On levels. Spotify. Do you know I what love I mean? the and name. Yeah. Make sure you know you got levels. Levels. You know we're taking it to another level. So mm. yeah, and then we're just planning more shows, more tours, and stuff like that. Videos, visuals, everything, man. So do you find it yeah, yeah. as as a dope producer? Yes. Because I know you're a dope producer. Yes. Do you find it like sometimes hard to then put yourself in artist mode? Yeah, because right, <laughs> right, right now I'm in producer mode. Okay. So all I'm doing is making beats now. Okay. Just loads of loads. Like okay. every day I'm in the studio making new okay. music. Okay. And then after that I'm going to get into artist, artist mode. mode. So how do you go from producer mode to artist mode? I know because sometimes, like, sometimes I have to go from DJ mode yeah. to presenter mode. Yes. And it can be a bit difficult. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like some Jackal and High thing game. Yeah. Like. But I mean, I think, I think what, like as a producer, I'm going to get to a certain amount of songs, a uh, certain amount of beats, mm. and then I'm going to be like, right, it's time to write to these songs. Songs, okay, and then just start putting them, you know, together, and okay. then start getting them out. All right, which one do you like, producing or being an artist? I like being an artist that produces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy trying to be clever with me. I hear it. You are really yeah, African. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, if you yeah. had a choice, yeah. if someone said to you, all right, you know what, I'm going to give you like a hundred mil, yeah. you know what I mean, but one of them got to go. Oh, then I'd probably just, you know what, I'd, I'd, I'd let the artistry go, you know why? Okay. Because I can live through a hundred people. Okay. You understand? Okay. As a producer. Okay. But there can only be one Silverstone. True that. You understand? You know, so add your voice, you're not allowed to add your voice anywhere on the track. <laughs> I put a little sample in there. No, but, 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 but you know, I speak through my fingers. Of course. You know right what I mean? As, yeah. a, as a musician. So, yeah, I think that for me, that's that's really important as well. To be to, you're know, being able to just put your music into you know different artists mm. and just have them sing and take it to another level. Mm. So yeah, it's really important to be able to do that. Do you think that like as a producer and an artist that you know the pressure is kind of on you? How do you deal with that pressure? It's it's a lot of pressure, especially it's not even from outside; it's within mm. because you always want to top what you're doing what you did before mm-hmm. you understand but mm-hmm. I feel I feel like it's not about competing it's about contributing okay you understand like there's no point trying to look at what somebody's done and say oh, okay I want to be better now nah, I want to be me the best me I can be and mm-hmm. if I'm contributing to that every time with new music new content new you know shows and whatever then I know that I'm never going to be behind, you understand? I'll be in my own lane, and I think that's the most important that's thing. most important, man. Yeah, People man. stick in your own lane, do you, yeah, in it? There you go, man. You know what I mean? Simple so, as that. So, what about, um, how do you, like, keep up? I mean, like, don't you ever just get, oh, shit, I've had enough, man. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you, get, you, get, you get, that happens, but I feel like you have to, you have to take time, everything, like the Bible says, you know, there's a, there's a season for everything under the sun. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's knowing that, 
yeah, you know what? It's time to make music. It's time to stop. It's mm. time to relax. Just mm. Mm. go and sleep. You understand? Mm. Mm. It's time, and then so it's just being sensitive to that, and then just doing what you need to do. So yeah, for me, like like I said, I'm in producer mode now. Hi. So every day, beats, 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 beats. So beats. can I get a beat? Yeah, man. All right, true. All right, come, all right, come to White Hot Studios in Croydon, man. There you go. Oh, say no. Nice. All right. So producer mode. What's happening after that, then? So after producer mode, I'm gonna get into artistry mode, okay. writing more songs. Okay. I'm gonna be collaborating with loads of artists. Like it's crazy. I've got some collaborations that I haven't even released with Your artists that are just much. sitting there. You know, videos. So are you waiting for the eyes to blow, and then you're gonna. No, <laughs> no. Some of the artists are worldwide artists. Okay, already, okay, okay. But I just haven't had the time to finish a song and put it out. Okay, you know okay. what I mean. So I'm doing that at the moment, and then also visuals. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot to do. Mm. And being an independent artist, a good thing is that you you can do it in your own time. Okay, you understand? It's not like a label telling you you have to do one thing or the other. You so why have you not chosen to go down the label route? I mean, it's not like the labels are not hollering. Cause, well, you know. you know what it is. I realized something. I had a paper and I had pen, so I signed myself. Ah, yeah, I understand. Mine's got lyrics for days, boy. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you know, I want to be able to, I don't want someone to say, okay, that's enough now. Mm -hmm. Next. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to do it, you know, look at a willow. Mm -hmm. It's a legend. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And he ain't so, even signed. And he's so, not even signed. Yeah, so, what, yeah. so why yeah. are you going to sign yourself mm -hmm. to, you know, it's just a, it's just a time bomb. It's a, it's a matter of time, you know, when someone will say, okay, that's it. So, Enough. yeah, obviously we'll do, definitely do deals with lab with, with major labels. But, on, but on your own terms. On your own terms. Yeah, of course. You know, we have the power now. Exactly. So and, let's use it. And I just want to point that out, yeah, that's some education right there to all the up and coming, you know, artists who are watching this. You don't have to rush to sign any deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Do your thing and keep that freedom going. And that's exactly. what's important. You know what I mean? Uh, Silverstone up in the building. Hit us off with your social media. We'll yes, you follow me video. on Snapchat at Silverstone. Instagram at Silverstone, Facebook at Silverstone, everything at Silverstone. Just Google me if you forget. S I L V A S T O N E. Silver says everything at Silverstone. My special yeah. guest right here, One African Music Festival. We are backstage. We're making it happen right now. I got chop some jollof, yes. but, but it's Niger jollof, so we have to think twice. <laughs> With that hard chicken. Why that chicken? No, I'm joking. <laughs>